So for this video, I'm going to be trying out the branch from Kama. Uh, it's named Live Torque. And I'm going to activate it right now. There are some curvy roads here. So I've got the max speed at 40 miles per hour. And uh, just following this bend. And hopefully it sees this car in time. It's probably not. This guy's going to cut me off, so awesome. But uh, what's special about this branch is that uh, they are having it so that the, the car and open pilot will automatically set the, the proper values for the, the tuning of the steering wheel. Uh, in the past, if you wanted to do any changes to the steering, uh, you know, you'd have to go into the system and, and change those values yourself. Uh, some forks did make that easier by having it available on the UI. But for the most part, there's a lot of trial and error uh, in actually getting it to work. Uh, because, you know, you change something, you, you have to check how it reacts. Um, uh, but the, the beauty about the idea of live torque is that it will actually determine all those values uh, on the fly. So that you know, if you know the open pilot will have a desire of where it wants to turn, how it wants to turn. Obviously, the car is going to do its own thing. It'll have some lag. It'll have some some slop in the mechanicals or even the software. And the idea is that open pilot should be smart enough to understand uh, what values to use based on what it's experiencing in live. We're gonna have to slow down and disengage here because we are coming to a stop. Uh, but my initial impression, even just from that short little bit we experienced back there, it's it felt pretty good. I'm hoping this car beside me accelerates fast enough that I can get behind them. But it does look like I have another car behind me too, so... Uh, let's see, let's move over. I'm still in full control of the car, but we are going to be coming up with some curbs. I'm going to activate Open Pilot now. Ran that yellow, so please don't arrest me. Um, I put it to a maximum speed of 40 miles an hour. Way says we're going 39, my car says we're going 40, and then Open Pilot says we're going 38. A bunch of numbers to look at. I'm going to press it up one more mile per hour just to see if we can get close to what Way is asking for. Great. Okay, so I do a lot of my steering testing here just to see how Open Pilot reacts, and let's see how it goes. I might just actually do a U turn later on to do some back to back tests to see if it's. Maybe the live torque just needs more time, but in all honesty, uh, what you just saw right there was pretty decent. Even this. Um, I'm going to disengage right now. I'm going to do a U turn and uh, run it back the other way, do another U turn and run it again to see if there's any difference. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know the actual inner workings of how the live torque goes. So, really just doing this based on the butt dyno, which obviously isn't very precise, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to activate it again. So it actually says that these, this particular street is around 35 miles an hour because of all the curves, but we're taking it at 40 just to push open pilot to see how far it can be taken. And so far it's doing fairly well. Cut that line a little bit, but again, it's we are going faster than the posted speed limit, so I think we can forgive Open Pilot for a little cutting, considering we are going faster than what the road was designed for. But so far, it's doing quite well. I'm going to disengage here. It's kind of a tight situation, and I'm going to do a U-turn here to see if we can run back that same. And 
if I have time, I might uh, get on the highway uh, to see how E2E reacts while on video. Obviously, I've already been testing it off camera. Uh, the verdict is definitely not out on it yet, but I'm going to activate the pallet here. It's going to go up to the 40 miles an hour that I said that. See how it takes these curves. I mean, but for the most part, though, this is, this is great. I think it's good. I've been driving the Tesla a lot, and in all honesty, you can't really compare the two considering just how finely tuned the Tesla is because they don't have too many cars to accommodate for. They also obviously have the cars on hand, while Open Pilot is trying to support so many cars, and so it's really hard to compare the two. Uh, open with autopilot and Tesla, it, it's hands down like no issue taking a lot of turns with that thing. I felt pretty good.